In this video we're going to be making liposomally encapsulated vitamin C. And uh, here you see the uh, ingredients and the materials we're going to use. So first up we need some ascorbic acid powder. This is pure ascorbic acid in the highest quality. It's, it's in a powder form. We're going to dissolve that into water. And then we have the uh, lecithin granulate. This is made from this is non-GMO sunflower lecithin, and we're going to need a measuring cup and a plastic or a wooden spoon, not metal. And we're going to need a ultrasonic cleaner. Any type will do, but of course, more power the better. And finally, we're going to need a blender, just an ordinary kitchen blender. And during the process, I'm going to use a, a microscope connected to a computer to verify the liposomes in the mixture. I'm going to do a, bef do a before and after comparison, so you can see the, how much the ultrasonic treatment contributes to the formation of liposomes. First I measure out about three tablespoons of lecithin granule, which amounts to about 35 grams of it. Then I measure out about a cup of water, and I'm going to add the uh, lecithin granule to that and let it soak for about, for about two hours. A bit. So while the lecithin is soaking, we measure out about a tablespoon of ascorbic acid powder, which gives us about 15 grams. There we go. The quickest way to dissolve vitamin C in water is in the ultrasonic cleaner. So we're going to measure up half a cup of water, put it in the container, and then we're going to add the ascorbic acid, in it goes, and then switch it on and let it agitate the mixture. So when it's completely dissolved in the ultrasonic cleaner, we transfer it back into the, into the container for while we wait for the lesser tin to soak. So now we pour the, uh, the lesser tin mix. Salt ascorbic acid into the blender. Put the lid on and run it high for about a minute. And after mixing it for about a minute. This is what you should have. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to extract some of the mix into this syringe. Let's try and get as little air bubble as possible. There we go. And now I'm going to put a drop on the 
microscope slide and prepare it. I'll put that into the microscope. There we go. So now we're going to focus the microscope and verify that we actually have some liposomes in the mixture. There we can see them floating around. So now I'm going to take and pour the mix from the blender into the ultrasonic tank. There you go. And switch it on. So now the uh, liposomal the ultrasound has been running for, for about four cycles. All the foam's gone, so we're going to repeat the, uh, the liposome test on the microscope and the computer. And here it's sticking in the fridge.